What's up, it's Cinema Show Gun here with some breaking news. A toxicology report has come in for the three Kansas City Chiefs fans who were found frozen to death in their friend's backyard. Now, I am not sure if this is the full report or if this is just the preliminary report. I'm not sure yet. There's a lot of details that remain unclear. This news just broke right before I sat down to make this video. But I can confirm that there were several substances found in their system. I don't know what the substances are right now, but I'm sure we're going to be finding out more soon. Maybe t by the time you watch this video, more information will be out there, but once more information comes out, I'll definitely be going over it. But let's go ahead and hop into this article. Police have received the toxicology report Thursday from the investigation into three Kansas City men found dead outside a Northland home last month. Family members of David Harrington, Clayton McGinney, and Ricky Johnson say they have learned that police received the report. And Kansas City police also confirmed that they have been in contact with the families. There have been no additional details of this case revealed to any media, nor are there any plans to at this time. The case remains an ongoing death investigation, a Kansas City Police Department spokesperson said. Both KCPD detectives and the Plate County Prosecutor's Office have been in touch with the deceased man's families and remain in contact and will remain in contact with them as the investigation unfolds. Media outlets are still working to obtain a copy of the toxicology report. It will determine if there were any substances, including alcohol, drugs, and more. It will determine if there were any of these substances in the three men's systems at the time of their deaths. So, we don't know exactly what was in their systems yet at the time of this recording, but I, I do know it has been confirmed that Coke was one of the substances. Let's just call it Coca-Cola. Um, now, the fact that there's various substances, um, substances in their system, that is kind of a red flag for me. Now, I'm wondering if they just mean, oh, alcohol and Coca-Cola, you know what I mean? But what mixture of substances? Because, you know, we keep hearing Jordan's a chemist. Jordan, you know, makes stuff, he creates stuff, he puts stuff together to make you feel good. So I'm wondering if, even if there is, you know, various substances in these guys' system, did Jordan make a concoction? You know, were these guys just drinking and doing lines? Or did Jordan make a concoction using various different substances? You know what I mean? Because, you know, sometimes these... I got to be careful how I talk about this stuff. Um, so forgive me if, you know, I'm being kind of awkward here. But, you know, certain pills, if you will, you know... They put various substances in them and then they press them together. You know what I mean? So Jordan may be creating his own, you know, ecstasy, if you will. And there may be various different substances in it. So just because, you know, these guys test positive for this or that, it doesn't mean that they were necessarily doing this or that. It means that this or that could have been in whatever they were doing, if that makes sense. A lot of times people do stuff and they don't know the various different, um, let's just say, ingredients that that's in the stuff that they're doing. So we're still going to have to wait to find out more details. I'm sure that we are going to be overloaded with information in the coming hours. And I'll be working hard, working overtime to comb through all of that information for you all. But for right now, I need to hear from you all down in the comments below. Let me know what you think of all of this. I don't think this is really shocking, but I'm really interested to see where this story goes next. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. 
While you're down there, if you're feeling generous, you can donate to the channel via Cash App. I'll have my Cash App in the pinned comment. You could also donate via Super Thanks or for free. You can help the channel in many ways by liking the video, subscribing, ringing that notification bell, and all of that good stuff. But with that being said, I'll talk to you all soon in the next one.